this is the inside of our outfit and we are using an invisible zip so we attach our pins and now we are going to start our sew this little tail here we are going to slant it just make a slant and start your sewing from that section and we are using an invisible thread all right set your work to a comfortable spot where you can see on the opposite side so just remove that pin that you have at the first section don't go too close to the edge as your zipper won't go up all right Take your needle and insert it from that section that you are doing just to make it on the opposite side so you can see what you're doing. And then look carefully. give it a little space see the space that I'm giving it right here and then start make sure when you are doing your sewing you go into each and every stitch that you have on this side go into that space So we can't go too close to the edge or else our work won't be able to zip up. All right. Go into each and every stitch while you are sewing your zip and make sure that you give it a little space so when your zipper is going up you won't have any problem. So just continue to do this. And when you reach to the top, I'll tell you what next to do. So I'm close to the end of this row. So remove that last pin. And go into your stitches. And go right up to that little edge and 
make sure that you do a double stitch right here so that it can hold down this section and then now we are going to go down back down this side just to make sure that our zip is firmly attached so just turn your work and just go into each and every stitch on your crochet you don't want to do it too big because you don't want a big space in between your work so just go into each and every space and I'll meet you when I reach to the end of this rounds so I am close to the end of this round or should I say the end of this section And then I'm going to make a knot and make a tie at the end to hold down your work. We're going to do the opposite side. So just cut it off. So I turned back over my outfit. This is the inner side. You're going to slant back the end of your zip just like what we did before slant it and make that first tuck to keep that spot firmly because we don't want the tail of our zip to be showing so that's why we have to slant it And then we are going to do a little different with this starting than we did the one before. If you notice right at this section here where we have our zip, we are going to go over to the next side and make a lap so that our zip won't fly, although they have us they already have some glue at that section to keep our zip strap. We are just going to make a crossover just to firm in that section. So go into this side over here and then go into the next side over here. And you're just going to do a couple wrap over just to keep it firm. And then we're just going to continue by removing our first pin and just continue our sewing to come straight down to this end and I'll meet you at the end of this rounds. So I'm on the finishing of my zip and just going to those little stitch at the end. Tie off your knot. And then just cut off your end. And here is our zip in our skirt. Invisible zip. So we just slide down. And this is it. So make sure that you don't go too much 
to the edge like what we have right here this is how you're supposed to do it so hit that subscribe button peace out love you until next time